this year with Exhibit Columbus, we have the 2017 exhibition, which is an amazing collection of 18 temporary and site responsive installations of temporary art and architecture. Upland's mission has always been to be recognized as artisans of well-made beer and food and progressive Midwestern culture. We have worked with some of the most amazing artists in the world that I think we draw a lot of inspiration. The Exhibit Columbus project with bringing landscape architecture and community space and putting all that together is really just an extension of this kind of ride that we've been on to try to surround ourselves with really brilliant creative people. It makes us better as brewers, it makes us better as creatives or inspired by those people. So we're really excited about this partnership with Upland because Upland is one of the best breweries in the state of Indiana and they're here in Columbus, Indiana in this fantastic building which is important to this community and important to the world in terms of architecture. Upland is all about making great beer. Exhibit Columbus is all about making great design. With the Exhibit Columbus Beer Stein, we wanted to make something that was special for Columbus that also got people in a sort of a social mood here at the Pump House and anywhere else they enjoy beer. And so we reached out to some friends and got connected to Kulapat Jan Trosset, one of the sort of leading talents in architecture around the world. I don't know of another brewery in the world that's done something like this, so it was a really neat opportunity for us to work with a world-renowned designer to create that vessel that carries that beer that we care so much about. The reason beer steins were made and have been around so long is because we didn't have glass 400 years ago. You know, people wanted a drinking utensil that they could use every day that was strong, and that's really why the stoneware became such a part of German heritage and beer. We still get our clay from a mine in Kentucky, and we bring the clay in raw, we send it through a series of processes and screens and presses to get all the impurities out of the clay. After the, we've got a purified clay, we make a very watery, consistent type of clay that's called slip. So we'll pour the slip into the plaster mold, and what happens is the mold starts wicking the water out of the clay, and that's what builds the sidewalls. And every piece that slip cast is timed, so the piece sits in there for an hour, then we'll dump the excess clay out of the mold and then we'll have the final piece. It normally takes three or four days for the piece to dry. And then we will wax the bottom of the piece to keep it from sticking to the kiln when it's fired. We'll put our bottom stamp on it to identify the maker. And then it'll go into the glazing booth. That's where we'll add the color. And then we fire at 1500 degrees Celsius. That's actually where the, we turn the clay into stone and that's where you get the word stoneware. It's definitely a great conversation piece. Oldest pottery company in America, world-class architect, filled with great beer from Upland, and you're drinking with your friends, so I don't think you could have a better time.